Right, take three. Oh dear. There was something on the lens, then the bloody zoom was out or in. Or something. That's out now. No, it's in. That's... Anyway. How are you doing? Welcome to a Saturday night vlog. I hope you haven't eaten. I hope it's the middle of the night. And I hope you're bloody starving hungry. Perry Perry chicken wings. Mm. Coming off the bone. And I've just learned something with them cooking. We're cooking them. And what it is, one day I'd left them in the oven because I've always cooked them as it states on the package. And um, I overdone it by a quarter of an hour. For some reason, something happened. I thought, oh, Christ, I've ruined them. Anyway, it looked, it looked all right. And, hang on, let me wash it down. And you know what it did? It crisped the skin, but it didn't affect the meat. It wasn't dry and... And they're much better. Well, how I like it. They're more sort of like KFC wings, like a crispy coating with a you know f nice meat inside. So I'm I've I've done these the same way. I've left them quarter of an hour longer. Bloody lovely. <laughs> and some chili and garlic sauce in there. And um, talking about Sunday dinners earlier on. And tomorrow I'm having breast of lamb, which used to be a cheap cut. Well, it's still the cheap, one of the cheapest um, cuts of the lamb. And you could buy it with a bone in, but uh, this has had the bone taken out and it's been rolled. It's nice with stuffing in as well. But uh, it's quite fatty, but fat means taste. And a lot of it comes out during the cooking as well. But... I remember it, 50p for a breast of lamb and the butchers and... Christ, this was nearly five quid. You know, it's gone dear lamb. But I like lamb. So tomorrow I'm going to boil potatoes. Then I'm going to mash them for a change. Add some sea salt, crushed black pepper and salted butter. Mash it up. And then have roast potatoes with it. Um, mushy peas. Uh, what else is there? Carrots. Maybe Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, maybe. Put a couple in. And mint sauce and gravy. So, uh, looking forward to that. I'm going to show you something now. This is I bought this for my shaving channel, but a few of you that watch these will... If you're of a certain age... You can buy this product's aftershave today, but it's not the original. But this, well, I'm going to show you, you cannot buy today. Only, um, you know, it's not sort of sold by the company. It's stopped being sold. And it is Old Spice Shaving Soap in a Mug. Now, you might think, well, so what? Uh, but the original was made by Shulton. Shulton. And to buy one of these with a soap in a box today will cost you anything between 50 and and £100. Pounds. Now, I remember these being sold in the chemists and in Woolworths and all that as part of a set. And if I'd have known that then, I'd have bought bloody loads of them. <laughs> and they're quite rare in America and in Britain, apparently. But I'll just show you it. It's a bit of vintage history. And there it comes in that, you see. Uh, my dad and I used to use a porcelain mug, shaving mug. And the red lid. Take the lid off. Seems like that. And inside the original soap. Oh, 
if you remember Old Spice, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. But yeah, fantastic. That's the original. Uh. Um, but I just happened to look at this particular place at the right time. This was being sold, and I had it for thirty-eight pounds, I think, with postage. So that's quite heavy. So I'm very happy with that because I wouldn't have paid fifty to hundred pounds for it because I remember it, you know, when it was originally out and nowhere near that. But it's a unique and uh, memory lane soap that. So they're looking forward to me using that on my shaving channel. And another thing now, I was given these today and they're round and I immediately thought, if you're a, again of a certain age, do you remember these adverts? All because the lady loves milk tray. Da 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 da. <laughs> These will leave a little card, like a, a silhouette of a man, the milk tray man. The deal, memory lane. Eh? And another thing made me laugh. Yeah, I was doing my comments on the other channel. And I've had to explain on that channel that I can answer every comment because it goes absolutely mental. And it takes me, it took me today two hours to go through the comments, read them, reply to some, and what I've said in the videos. Because I think it's important if people are good enough to watch videos, subscribe to your channel, that you recognise that. It's good manners. But um, I can also understand when you get so many, how you just can't go through each one. Uh, if I was retired, yeah, no problem, but um, or something like that, but not when you're working and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, I explained in the videos that um, I read every comment, and if they look under their comment, there's a thumbs up and a thumbs down. And I know both of those very well on this channel. <laughs> but I said... If you see a thumbs up, it's from me. If you see two, three, four of them, well, it's from others as well. But it means I've read the comments and I'm saying thank you. And it's gone down well. They're quite happy with that. It's uh, it's important, I think. Anyway, going through the comments, I had a, what I used to call a PM. What they call now? Private message or something. No, shared privately. So, um... And what it is, in my shaving videos, I've said as a joke, because I say, when you shave the chin, if you've got a double chin, use it. So do that with it, and then it makes it easier to shave. I said, if you haven't got a double chin, they sell them on eBay and on Amazon. Just go and have a look, but hurry up, because they sell out quickly. And most people got the joke, but not this fella. He went off his bloody head I don't think it, I've looked everywhere I can't find double chins I don't think it's right you're taking the piss out of your viewers so I read it again I thought is he taking the mickey no quite quite knocked <laughs> but what made me laugh is someone if he's taken that seriously has gone Watch the video. Oh, double chin. I'll have a look for that. I need oh, double chin. Oh, there was some. Well, come on. It's a, it's a joke. It's you know some people on YouTube. They don't, you know every. They, how can I explain it? They take the title seriously, or they take the the content. You know they can't judge a joke unless it's my sense of humour. I don't know. It's, I mean, come on. Double chin, you expect to buy double. What are you going to do? Glue it to your chin? And then your beard grows out of it? Oh, come on. It, <laughs> it, made, it just made me laugh. I can't, I don't know if I believe it myself, but uh, bloody hell. It's <laughs> weird, man. Anyway, very frosty this morning. Minus three when I got up. I had a defrost the car but I got a heated windscreen button press the button lovely and then um, 
it's been cold ever since and on the tops it's a bit of snow it's not bad but it's icy snow you know uh, but I managed to get round most of them I missed a few where I had to go down if you know sometimes you've got to be careful if you go down to a farm you've got to think ahead because if they're not in and you get stuck you're stuffed so it's better Royal Mail would prefer you to not go and go when it's cleared so that's what I've done where I had to do it but uh, um, a future video uh, video dinner Sunday dinner tomorrow is going to be rolled breast of lamb it used to be a cheap thing to buy 50p once in the butchers years ago not bloody cheap now nearly five quid bloody hell but um it's rolled, you can have it stuffed with stuffing or whatever, but I'm going to roast it in the halogen. I'm going to boil potatoes, then mash them for a change with sea salt, black pepper and salted butter. Roast potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, mushy peas, carrots, gravy and mint sauce on the lamb. So that's tomorrow. Um, what else is there? I'm going to get some venice. If you like game, I like game all sorts I'm going to try and get some venison even if it's a steak or you know because um, I had some in Scotland once bloody hell it was nice so I just remembered about it so I'm going to try and get some venison you can buy it no problem venison for one Sunday dinner and yeah I won't let this go on too long so thanks for watching have a fantastic Saturday night what's left of it and because it's quite late is it have a nice Sunday. Might see you tomorrow. You never know. Um, I'm going to scoff the rest of these. Have a few more of these cans. And enjoy the rest of the night. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.